sorry, I mean into the structure of the day. Circle around this out, hit my target. I can see that big goal. Bella's understanding the dynamics of it. I want to ask you a question today. This is John Hardy giving you the business tip of the day so you can do your business better. Hello everybody, it's John Hardy from Peak Consultancy answering questions from business owners anywhere in the world and we love that. So this is Alan from Sydney in New South Wales on the east coast of Australia. Alan has a stationary shop and Alan has clients. And his clients are saying to him, Alan, will you please open on weekends? Because oftentimes in places like Sydney, there is what they have is 24 seven shopping availability. So clients are requesting a business to open more often for their convenience. So Alan's question is, that's what my clients are asking. My challenge is I have a work-life balance issue with doing that. So we have a dilemma here that oftentimes can manifest in lots of ways in the life of a business. So this is a work-life balance and Alan has chosen not to open weekends for his own work-life balance. And yet clients are saying, please open, please open, please open. What does he do? Well, the first thing, Alan can keep staying as he is because this is a commitment for, that he has for his home, his family, his health, his future, and leave the, the dynamic of the business simply as it is. Alan, you can change that by um, a work-life balance and you change the five-day working week for somebody in your employ that they actually do Wednesday through to Sunday. And that is their five day working week and their weekend is a Monday, Tuesday. Um, so there's ways in which you can think this through. Um, I think we've got to maybe run a test, Alan, to see what the demand on Saturday looks like. I did this with a, a retail outlet and we analyzed what they were doing and when customers were actually coming. We ended up closing um, most days Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, because they were operating 24 seven and nobody was actually coming in the shop. We opened it to the hours where people wanted the shop to be open and were actually coming, which was then um, after four o'clock, um, all day Friday, all day Saturday, all day Sunday. And it's worked really well. The business has done fantastic. So I think it's, there's a dynamic of, yes, customers might be saying that, for many areas of convenience. But here is an interesting thing to think about, Alan. You can actually have a 24 seven business if you want in a very easy and dynamic way to say to these clients, please order online. So Alan, just imagine you transfer this business and have a dynamic website with ability to have your catalog there, all your products online, and you can simply say to your clients who are requesting that, please shop 24 seven and work out a way in which you do your logistics to get those products delivered quickly and easily to your clients. That way you can resolve their request, they can access you anytime, you can resolve your request of these clients that you are missing out on, um, who are coming weekends, because of lots of dynamics that happen in our world today with busyness. You can keep your work-life balance, or you could employ somebody to open the shop 24 seven uh, in a physical bricks and mortars dynamic by changing some of the way in which you work your rosters, the way you employ your staff. I think, Alan, there is a number of solutions for you I think you just got to wrestle through that to figure out what you settle with. If you stay the way you are, um, that is okay. And I know a friend of mine did that. He went from 80 hours to 50 hours a week. He was the CEO, MD of a business. But what he did was he empowered his team to take up some responsibilities. And I think sometimes this is what we do in business. We think it all rises and falls on us. No leadership rises and falls on us, 
but our business profitability rises and falls on the empowerment we give to our staff to actually work and, and do what they want to do. They want employment, they want to do their job well. I think there's a whole dynamic there for you to wrestle with is how you're actually managing your staff. So Alan, there's a few ideas for you to think through. Great question, thank you for asking it, because I know there's many other people just like you asking this question about work-life balance, trying to think through the areas and dynamics of how this could work out. And remember, you can contact me, we can have a conversation, and I know I can help you even further, because that's what I do as a business coach. Great question, because I know because of that, I can help businesses all around the world do business better. Sorry, I mean into the structure of the so circle around this out in my time. I could see that big goal. As well as understanding the dynamics of it. I want to ask you a question today. This is John Hardy giving you the business tip of the day so you can do business better.